I do have to wonder. Can I get over this wall? Mega Destroy Terminator. Ability to do unblockable damage. So it says 300,000 health and has a tough tag on it. Okay. Sure, I blocked that. This is actually just, just a case of uh, sheer numbers being enough to uh, uh, annihilate you. Okay, so this is one of those things where, I, where wiping the map really isn't practical, I guess. I could probably actually uh, uh, get them if I just like bump rush it repeatedly. That, though, is just a ridiculously hard-hitting uh, barrage of attacks they uh, give out. I know, I know, I know. This ain't how you're supposed to do this. I know. There's another one of those groups of enemies that is just a giant pile of, uh, it'll probably kill me. So 
those guys, no big deal. These are citizens being... Ah, uh, who cares what, what's happening to the citizens. You guys die. Okay, so that's the general direction I'm supposed to be going in, which explains why, why there isn't any uh, ridiculously overpowered uh, enemy groups there. I do have to wonder if those um, other groups actually respawn. Hang on, how's this henchman at level 11? Again, Mega Destroid Terminator, just straight one shot at me. Huh. Yes, this is kind of sort of the epitome of the whole F around and fight out thing. But hey, I came here to F around. So... It's one of those things where in real life I would absolutely not be doing this. But this is a video game. Surprise! to make a destroy Terminator, which, as we've seen so far, they have a single attack, which will one-shot you. Or at least it'll one-shot me, anyways. And I'm 99% sure that the first time it one-shotted me, I was blocking, so it's unblockable damage. Sounds fun, huh? So, there's another Mega Destroid. But that one's not a Terminator. That one's just a regular Mega Destroy. Aww. I wonder what happens if I aggro it. to engage. Interesting. So it looks like I can actually just like straight uh, sniper it uh, into death. That's about a sixth of its health so far. It's the only character I've ever made that uses munitions, and is thus also the only character I've ever made that actually has a sniper rifle power. Okay, that's a problem.
summon another one? Oh, that hurt. <sighs> okay, so the Mega Destroid that I was actually fighting properly, as far as I know, is a summoned pet that uh, doesn't really matter. And I am. Um... Yeah. It uh, reset as soon as I died. Summoned pet went away. Uh, knocking off a quarter of its health triggered it to summon a pet. And I wasn't actually able to kill the summoned pet. And it'll probably just summon even more pets if I did kill. There's an invisible wall right there. That explains so much. So, that's a giant pile of, uh, will uh, probably gank you. That is also a, uh, will one shot you hit. Ah, boy. Yeah, I know. F 40 minutes of me screwing around and I haven't even left the first map or even accomplished a single mission objective. No, no, I killed the ones on the other side. So those guys, again, giant, uh, a pile of guys to the gang you. Mega Destroy Terminator, who has it only one attack, which will one shot you as soon as it blinks in your general direction. Aggro enemies, but it looks like I left their aggro range, so they abandoned pursuit. Okay, so this map is uh, pretty hilarious in terms of uh, really, really good. Okay, so what exactly is this supposed to be? Okay, so that's the champion's headquarters building. This would be, I guess, be the until uh, HQ building. Which has been drastically redesigned as it was. Maybe 
piece, but I'm like, hey, I can accomplish something. Yeah. I know, it's just fun to get gun in those guys down. Yeah. I wonder how far down this road you go. This is interesting because the fact that this is the street behind uh, until headquarters, but you know, with walls. Okay, that's twice I've shot those two specific guys. Clearly, those guys are just going to respawn. Okay, I'm currently out of range uh, to attack that thing. I do kind of wonder if there's an invisible... Yeah, it looks like there's an invisible preventing you from jumping off here. Stuffed to, to hit it with a sniper rifle. That's a bit of a bummer. Yeah, well. Yeah, it's like I was far enough away from it. Oh, wow, there's an invisible wall, so I can't even go th to the left around the wall fence. Really? That is actually pretty lame.
that's a problem. So going that way is a bad idea because you get too close to the thing. Insurgent activity detected. The Overseer is online. Hmm. I am kind of curious at what exactly I was supposed to do with this, because I thought we were supposed to be able to uh, push the button on the console and uh, uh, prevent it from coming online, but no, the console is actually um, completely uninteractable. Insurgent activity detected. I guess it stops being online if you leave the area, though. So, overseers. out this side, but you can't walk around that corner. Huh? Sense make this not.
second one is the summon pack. You can tell the difference um, by the, the, the fact that it's a different uh, power animation color. The summon pet version, you don't have any real reason to kill it. doesn't accomplish anything useful though. Damn it. You hit with that stupid boom attack. Because blocking the boom does not necessarily avoid getting knocked flying and then you get um, beaten to death while you're Back to the murder. Insurgent activity detected. What? Get reset. Okay, this is weird. The hell? Okay, so the Overseer reset, but the Summoned Pet uh, version of um, Mega Destroyed uh, is still there. Overseer. Yeah, I blocked that. I 
having to fight these things two on one is you know, the only part about this that's actually a serious Because when they do that stupid boom attack, it'll sometimes knock you even if you block it, and then you, you, the other one just pummels you death afterwards. That's what I thought. It just summons him. I actually think I managed to, 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 to get into a soft fail. So unless I can kill this thing, I'm pretty much be, uh, going to be uh, completely unable to uh, accomplish any sort of mission objectives. Gee, shocker, I got KO'd again by, by getting not flying for no flipping reason whatsoever. Oh yeah, that's right. This is what happened last time too. It's like a after it got down below a third, it started uh, wh whipping out uh, even more irritating abilities that were more of a problem than the other ones.
Okay, whatever the heck that pulse was, that did a lot of damage. Well, it's dead now, that's something. Those things where I, I know I'm doing a whole lot of things wrong. I just some of these I'm actually genuinely not sure what exactly right would be. I have to say the uh, attention to detail on this logo is actually pretty impressive.
Now, one thing I do first and find be kind of hilarious is the, the fact that this game doesn't seem to properly distinguish between the weapons that you're blowing I guess up the resistance you're, doesn't know a lost um, cause stealing. when it sees one. That's probably killable by the pain in the ass to kill. supposed to do the previous time it did, I guess. Yeah, well, for the uh, annoying That was shocking me. Oh, wow, Harmon's gonna be pissed. As far as I know, you can kill those, but uh, soloing it, I don't think I'm going to manage to be able to pull that off. Tried that once, didn't work.
energy sapping attack they do is basically the only thing they can they have that's actually a genuine threat. Uh, okay. So for this stage, the real annoyance is the uh, waves of enemies that spawn after you uh, begin the uh, jet mission. Which is basically just a bomb rush. Thing is, it's a bum rush based only on how many players are standing on this platform. It, it actually needs to be done. Missile launchers only shoot at flying enemies, and, um, well, the guys that we're going to be sending to um, blow the jet up don't fly. The missile launchers won't attack them. So, that's done. This is way easier when you have more than one player working on it. Now, well, that's in the way. This is, uh, because this is a patrolling game, this is actually genuinely something that we get. So I do need to take that out so that it won't attack the uh, explosives experts. So this should be clear. Nothing to impede the explosives experts. So now we send the explosives experts to do their thing. It says I'm supposed to escort them, but yeah, gameplay mechanics. Kind of silly. This is a very interesting one. I really wish you could explore it in more detail. As the, um, what even is that? We have no idea. Literally can't see it. Uh, we, we can't get in anywhere even close to that thing in the sky, so trying to figure out what it is is uh, completely impossible. What exactly that is? Um, yeah, see, because a lot of the buildings here are kind of strangely warped. Like that one there that just looks like it's swollen in the middle somehow. What exactly is that supposed to be telling me about this one? Hmm. 
Yeah, see, nothing's happening over there. Ah, there it is. Done. Yeah, basically just like waiting on an invisible timer. Hey, hey, that jet was my ticket to Bermuda next week. Okay, now I'm pissed. Two mechanic near charging station. Oh, this is the one we have to uh, uh, talk to the consoles. Okay. Sure. I'm kind of curious. Oh, I see, I see, I see. It has a door so the, uh, to uh, restrict access, and the door is currently in the closed position. Why are there exploded burning cars here? Haha, I didn't get the taser off. Actually, far enough away that I'm not hitting the um, charging station. Cool, 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 cool. So, the charging station employee hasn't noticed me yet. So, I get to shoot him in the back. Yeah, screw you and your stupid taser too. It's about time we tracked down the rats and made a mess of our headquarters. Now, 
killing Oubliette is actually a, a, a major uh, uh, thing here because of the fact that Oubliette has a unique drop, which is the Dark Speed device. Didn't get one. Darn it. Oh well. I did get a a drop of some sort, but not that. I have to beat up Lapis Lazuli. Yeah, it's Sapphire. Just a different name. About time the Resistance recruited somebody who can put up a fight. I'm trying to fight her in here because I don't want the destroids. Uh, oh, I, I got it. You fight uh, her so rarely, being on the receiving end of her attacks is yeah, a novel experience. Somehow got these guys confused with uh, the uh, resistance fighters. 